It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a collaboration beer between Two Roads Brewing Company, an evil twin brewing company. It's called Two Evil, as the name should make sense to you. Um, it's called Geyser Goes. Geyser Goes. It's an ale brew with Icelandic moss, herbs, kelp and sea salt. This is going to be a crazy sour goes. I'm just really looking forward to it. It's a four. It's a 473 milliliter can, so it's a one pint can. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Listen. Did you hear that? Ho oh, ho Look at that. Oh, you know a goes is gonna be sour when the head dissipates so quickly and there's lots of carbonation. Look at that. It's like one of those fireplace videos on YouTube that you could sit and watch for hours on end. That's enough of that. It's a beer review, not a fireplace chill and relax video. Uh, a very clear golden coloured ale, 5.5% ABV. Let's get the aroma. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'd love it if the camera picked. There you go. Can you see that? Look at the cab. It's firing out of the end of the glass. This is going to go up my nose, surely. I have never seen a beer do that before. Look at that. It must be that Norwegian, oh sorry, that Icelandic moss. Here we go. Beer up my nose time. Sour as can be. Sour as can be. Sea salt. Kelp moss. And it's just it's splashing on the underneath of my nose. That's, that's completely bizarre and bonkers. Let's dive in. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Ah! Stone the crows! Stone the crows. There is so much flavour in that beer. If you thought being a child with a sour sweet, the sourest, you see these little packets of sweets, don't you? The sourest sweet in the world. If you think the sourest sweet in the world is as sour as this goes, you're wrong. You are completely wrong. And if you're a child, when you're 18, get a can of this. That is bonkers, bonkers, stone the crows. Unbelievable! I've never had anything quite so sour as that in all of my life. Got in my eye. That springiness just, it just, it just sprang into my bloody eyeball. Close my eyes, let's go again. It's mouth puckering, bonkers, crazy, sour. Lemon, lime, moss, kelp, sea salt. Yeah, it's very kind of sea salty. It's bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. But do you know what? <coughs> Pardon me, it's very carbonated too. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's completely drinkable. Really good drinkability, really good carbonation. That when you can physically see the carbonation, it just went into my eye. You know that, that little bit of wavy weirdness that was going on? That's the carbonation actually firing out the top of the glass. It's almost as if 
whatever is still alive in there is trying to jump out. It's that sour. Um, I don't blame it. I'm, I'm just wondering what it's doing to my stomach. Probably nothing. It's a beer. Um, salty, sour, crazy, bonkers beer. But I love it. I love the fact that you can have a stout, a porter, an IPA, a ghost. And before I go on, think of wine. Red or white. It's one of the most popular drinks in the world. It's all over the television. It's all over cooking programs, cooking shows. Oh, I'm just gonna, just gonna, my homemade lasagna is, is very finely mixed with this lovely glass of white wine. And you're thinking to yourself, go away, you stupid person. Get a goes, get one of these crazy goes style of beers and, and wake up, wake up. This, is fantastic. I have never had so much flavour reaction to a beer than this in my glass. And another beauty, another big thing about this beer is the fact that, say you've got a hoppy beer, you put it in the fridge, you get it below four degrees, you have a chill haze on the beer, and you lose a lot of flavour. You don't get that with a ghost. The ghost, you can chill this down, you could have this cold. Can you imagine a cold, highly carbonated, massively drinkable ghost in the, in the height of summer with some barbecued chicken? I couldn't think of anything finer. There's still some beer in the can. can. Let's see if it's can conditioned. I don't think it's doing it anymore. I think it's just, it, it has calmed down a bit now. Uh, and again, I mean, these the, the companies, the American brewers, um, a, a natural harmless sediment may appear. Oh, you don't have to tell me that. Um, Two Roads Brewing Company, big fan of their, 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 their brewery. Um, Evil Twin Brewing Company, again, speaks for itself. This is one of the beers of my year. Uh, it's, it's August 2017. It's, it, I think there's lime, there might be some lime in the beer as well. Um, it, it's wonderful, wonderful sourness. My palate has adjusted, your palate will adjust to the sourness, it will. It's just your body reacting and, and adjusting to, to this crazy sourness. So if you buy this for the first time, if you've not had a goes before, the first flavour is bonkers, it'll blow your mind and as you drink the beer your, your palate will adjust to it over over the time you're drinking the beer. Um, but anyway this beer, I'm gonna give this beer, uh, it's called No, oh sorry, Too Evil Geyser Goes. That is a smashing 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.